I believe uh, speaking is like making love to a woman or to the partner. With me playing the role of the male, and you, this beautiful crowd, playing the role of the other partner. So as a speaker, I find myself with the obligation that at the end of our session in bed, you feel very enthusiastic, satisfied, you look at me like, wow, this guy. And the task gets even more challenging if you have had a day with many partners that have passed by with great messages, with great performances, and I have five minutes to ensure that at the end of my message, at the end of my performance, you look at me like, wow, this guy, and you're a happy partner. So I believe that with your participation, in the next five, seven minutes that will follow, when we die, you'll be able to look at me, satisfied, happy, and you'll be like, this guy. Are you ready for it? My question was, are you ready for it? I'm not convinced. Are you ready for it? I want you to think about a major goal. Something that you would like to achieve or somewhere you've ever been in your life and when you looked at the gap between yourself and that thing, you do not know where you will start, how you go by it, and how you get that. And what builds the bridge between yourself and where you want to be, that multi-million dollar company that you want to build, that lover that you want to impress, that husband that you want to have, what builds the bridge between you and that goal is the power. The power to absorb knowledge. The power to act. The power. You see, in a book that I've read, the title is The Monk Who Sold His Valerie. It teaches us that words are the verbal embodiment of power. Words are the verbal embodiment of power. And to each of us, we have those group of words. If you don't, then today is the day. Find those words that will give you the power. And with me, when I grew up in a two-bedroom apartment somewhere in Africa, Togo is the country, T-O-G-O, -O, not Tokyo. When I grew up with my dad having two wives with nine siblings, and we shared a two-bedroom with the wives taking turn in one, and the girls and the mother sleeping in the other one, and ask the boys, we share the living room. When I grew up in such conditions, walking to school about 10 kilometers a day, sometimes having only one meal a day. When I grew up in those conditions, good people, I only had one dream, and the dream is to be better. The dream is to break the line of poverty which, which settles me and to be someone better. And to do that, I had to dig into my power. I called on the power. When I was 18 and I left Togo with only one, one dream and one purpose. When I left Togo, walked more than 6,000 miles from Togo to South Africa. When I slept in sheds. When I had to do what I had to do to survive. When days passed by, two, three days passed by with no food. When white folks looked at me and called me monkey, when I faced racism, people, what kept me going is the power. I called on the power. The power from within. The power to keep me going. When I built a business, over $500,000, and overnight it crashed, and I had to build back again. You know what kept me going? What kept me going? What kept me going? I'm not convinced, people. Come on. Is the power. What kept me going? Power. Is the power. So today, you have received words from morning to evening. 
we have received the power. We have received the knowledge. Think and grow rich. Napoleon here. That knowledge in itself is not power. It's the application of it towards a certain purpose, a certain goal. That is what the power is. So we have received knowledge from morning to evening. Then you owe it to yourselves to find you need the power. The power to take you from where you are right now to the next goal, to the next vision. So right now, I want us to do something quickly. Five seconds. Somebody, please tell me, I have the power. Oh, this crowd, come on, this crowd, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I have the power. Somebody tell me, I have the power. I have the power. I'm not convinced. I have the power. I have the power. I have the power. I have the power. I have the power to change my circumstances. I have to change my circumstances. I have the power to move from good to great. I have the power to move from good to great. I have the power to move from better to better. I have the power to move from better to better. I have the power, people. I have the power. What do you have? Power. What do you have? Power. I'm not feeling you, man. I'm not feeling you. What do you have? Power. Thank you very much. My name is Steven Dosu from Selfless Catalyst. You two can be great. See you on top. Bye.